Hey there, welcome to the Overcomers of Relapse Podcast. I am D, your host. This is episode two of season 14 of my podcast. So welcome to all my listeners out there. Hey, it is always great to share this experience with you. Hey, my listening friends, I received so many requests to continue this season to start off each podcast episode with what I like to call a music message moment. Hey, what can I say? My listeners seem to enjoy my music message moments as much as I do. You see, I believe music is the universal language of the world. And for me personally, I love music that enlightens me with wisdom and knowledge pertaining to the life challenges and great moments that we experience in our everyday lives. Now, my listening friends, I do not own the copyright to the song. It is used for life-changing messages purposes only. So my listening friends, sit back and join because this is a great Listen and get the message out of the music that could be pertaining to a particular situation. Hey, that can change your perception of a matter that you are dealing with. Or, like me, just an enjoying and encouraging melody that lifts your spirits to a higher destination. Hey, my listening friends, I will be right back with today's exciting topic and discussion. So please, sit back and enjoy. There's a light at the end of the tunnel Keep your eyes on the road ahead But if you're feeling lost in the night It's okay to cry Just as long as you hold your head Cause we're on our way to better Better's ahead Better's ahead it gets worse for it gets better But better's ahead Better's ahead Better days coming Better days coming Better days, better days Better days coming Been kicked down, slept on, let down, faith gone Waited for too long for something to lean on You feel weak, just be strong, deep breath, stay calm If you just press on, press on, press on You gon' see there's a light at the end of the tunnel Keep your eyes on the road ahead and if you're feeling lost in the night It's okay to cry Just as long as you hold your head Cause we're on our way to better Better's ahead Better's ahead It gets worse for it gets better But better's ahead Better's ahead Better days are coming And better days are coming Better days, better days And better days are coming I know you felt left out and stepped on Keep going, keep going Shine bright, don't dim yours for no one I know 
listening friends my listening friends I really really hope in some way the message in that song really inspires you you know like I always say we all travel on different roads of this journey we call life but hey we all are on life's journey so I really really hope that song makes your journey a little brighter. Now, let's get started. I just want to put this out there right from the beginning. This podcast is not only pertaining to relapse fires, drugs, alcohol, or any other addictions. No, my friends, we are open to all topics. However, our main topic is why do we have addictive behaviors and how can we overcome them? On episode two, of season 14, I would like to use for a topic, control is in God, relax, you heard me me right my friends, control is in God, relax, my listening friends, (laughs) I have a question, and I am sure there are many, many of you Who can relate to this question? How many times have we tried to control our all our occurrences in our lives? And it turns out to be a complete disaster. (laughs) I can so relate. I mean, let's be honest here. We as humans, hey, it is just part of our being to feel that we have to be in control of all situations pertaining to our lives. Now, I am trying to indicate that we should not take responsibilities. I am not trying to say that we should not take responsibilities for our decisions and choices. No, absolutely not. However, We have to come under the understanding that some things in this life, hmm, we just cannot control. I mean, like natural disasters, um, certain fatal illnesses, et cetera, et cetera. You get the picture. You know, my listening friends, this has often, often crossed my mind when it comes to the disease of addiction. I mean... Let's think about this for a second. I mean, who in their right mind will want on purpose to possess this disease? (laughs) I have often said this. (laughs) Disease of addiction mm, is a nightmare. And it is an every, every day fight. And my listening friends, if you do not suffer from it or do not have family members and friends who are battling the disease of addictions, hey, it is impossible, impossible for you to really relate to the frustration, the chaos, and the devastation that it causes the person that suffers from it. And what it does to family and friends if it's not dealt with. Hey, my listening friends, if we that suffer from the disease of addictions, hey, if we are completely honest, it is always there. It is always there in the back of our minds. It's in the back of our minds just waiting for the opportunity with his cunning and baffling influences to convince you that you cannot remain clean for the rest of your life. And eventually, it tells you, you are going to relapse. You see, my listening friends, this is why I get so offended when I see people, especially people that suffer from the disease of addiction, treat people that has relapses 
in such a negative way. Yes. Addicts that are at least trying for a successful recovery should not be treated in a negative way from people who suffer from the same disease. Yeah, yeah, I know. I have heard the debate over and over again. You have so many different opinions concerning relapses. And the number one debate is, there are recovering addicts, yes, recovering addicts, and professionals that will spend a great deal of time debating whether relapse is a part of of recovery. Hmm. Now, just imagine, my listening friends, just imagine how many lives we would save if instead of the constant debate concerning who is right or wrong, and we took all that energy and time and invested it in helping the individual in any way possible. Because you should understand. You should understand because you suffer from the same disease of addiction. And if anyone should know what they're dealing with, is you. <laughs> My listening friends, listen. The point I am trying to make is we should all be focused on the big picture here. And that pic big picture is to help save lives with any positive influences we possibly can offer. You know, my listening friends, hey, this is just my opinion. Here is what I think the issue is, and not just what addiction, just period in our world today. It is one word, control. See, trying to take responsibility and control most issues in our lives, hey, to be honest with you, it can be a good thing. However, there sometimes are better approaches for most situations than just trying to take control. Like, you know, presenting understanding, forgiveness, love, compassion, Empathy. I mean, the list goes on and on. Hey, my listening friends, let me ask you this. Have you looked at our world today? Hmm. In my opinion, one of the number one issues in our society is everyone. Everyone wants to be in control. There is a greed control demon going on in our world today. I mean political negative influences, mental brainwashing, emotional manipulation, and spirituality deceit. See, the thing about wanting to control everything, my friends, it exit the possibility of a different perception. It exit a possibility of a better answer and a better solution to circumstances that you may receive that information from someone else. My listening friends, yes, yes, of course, it is debatable and people get to choose in whom or what they believe. Hey, my listening friends, I remember a time when our nation was built on the foundation of the statement, in God we trust. <laughs> now, it is very seldom you even hear anyone say that. And that's probably why our world is in the crisis it's in. Ho, oh, ho, hold on a minute. Hey. Before anyone gets excited here, like I always say, this is just my opinion. <laughs> and I am not trying to preach to you here at all. Hey, but for me, throughout my life experiences, 
I have learned the real control is in God, my power, my higher power. So I tell myself this all the time. Try to relax. <laughs> yes, my listening friends, I get it. Sometimes it gets a little hard to see and believe that in living in today's time with the mess and the chaos we have created, hey, it's hard to relax. However, my listening friends, I have learned that when I make this my number one priority, whatever comes of this world in my life or my death, he is still in control. And that is something no man can control over me or take away from me. Hey, my listening friends, I have a question for you. Will you let man control the state of your mentality, your emotions, and your spirituality? Or will you allow yourself to come under the understanding that the real control is in God. <laughs> so you can relax or at least try to. Hey, my listening friends, the choice is yours. Choose wisely. Well, that's it for episode two of my new season 14 podcast. My friends, hey, I have gotten so many requests. People love that great meditation track. So I will be ending each podcast episode with that great track as usual. So please stay tuned to the very end of the podcast. Let's take a flight on Angel Wings together. Hey, my listening friends, please visit my website, The Overcomers of Relapse Lounge. It is listed on the screen. Please feel free to post on the blog, share your thoughts, and also feel free to chat. Hey, all of my contact information is on there also. So come on, feel free just to reach out. And I also have a lot of great music on there for you to sit back and relax and enjoy. Also, my listening friends, come join my Facebook group called The Overcomers of Relapse Lab. Hey, we have a lot of great inspiring posts, and I'm telling you, we got a great, great group of people to chat with. And my listening friends, don't forget to listen and send in those questions for the Ask These segments. Hey, it is always my pleasure to serve. Hey, my listening friends, let me know your opinions and thoughts. And thanks again for joining me. And hey, I will talk with you all again very soon. Be good to yourself. Take care of yourselves out there. Bye-bye.